Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today we read a very beautiful word from the Bible. That is from John chapter 15 verse 2. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit be taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit he purgeth it. That it may bring forth more fruit. Amen. What a mighty word and what a mighty God we serve. That the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Only a little more cutting. Yes, we do experience this word that there is more cutting in our life when we are passing through the stages of life and the journey of life. There is joy, there is happiness, there is sadness, there is depression, there is anxiety. And again, we find that we are being led by our Lord Jesus Christ as he is our shepherd. For the word says in Psalm 23 verse 1, The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. The words are true, beloved, for he is the maker of heaven and earth. As we read in Psalm 121, it says, I lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, who is the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, for there are angels surrounding each one of us. There are 20,000 chariots of angels, beloved, as we read in Psalm 68, verse 19. And his name is Yah, as we read in Psalm 68, verse 4. Yes, and the mighty word from Psalm 68, verse 6, it says that he will set the one who are bounded into prosperity and he's the father of the fatherless yes and also of those who are widow so my dear sister my dear brother wipe away those tears for jesus christ is our loving waters and he's a shepherd and he will wipe away our tears as we read in revelation chapter 7 verse 17 yes for he is a salvation and also we read the word that every knee shall bow to him as we read in Romans chapter 14 verse 11 and he is a salvation. As we read in Revelation 17 chapter, as we read in Revelation 10 verse 7. Yes, beloved. Yes, as we read in Revelation 7 verse 10. Yes, he is the omnipotent God as we read in Revelation chapter 19 verse 6 and the God who reigns. Yes, so whatever your needs are there today, whatever your problems are there today, whatever your requests are there today, Go in the presence of Lord Jesus Christ. For the word says to you and to me, from Proverbs chapter 8, yes, in verse 17, 18, 19, the word is speaking, I love those who love me and those who seek me diligently will find me. The words are true, beloved. Yes, and surely you will find him. Go and put up your request in the front of Lord Jesus Christ and respect him for he is the maker of heaven and earth. And every authority in heaven and earth belongs to him as we read in Matthew chapter 28. Yes, and the word says to you and to me, he is with us till the end of the age. Yes, so the same word we read in Psalm 48 verse 14. He is a guide even unto death. Yes, beloved, he is a very present help in trouble. Yes, so a man may have a breath in his nostrils. Our loved ones may be here today or may depart tomorrow. By way of sickness, they may die. But Jesus Christ is there with you. So wipe away your tears, my dear sister, my dear brother. For Jesus Christ loves you. For he's loved us with everlasting love. As we read in Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 3. Yes, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Yeshua Messiah, on the cross for us. That whoever believeth should not perish but have eternal life. John 3.16 Yes, my dear sister, my dear brother. 365 times in the Bible it says, Fear thou not. Yes, the word says in Isaiah 41 verse 10, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. For I myself will uphold you. I will help you. Yes, the words are true. Isaiah 41, 10, 13, 14. For the word says, I will take your right hand in my hand, and I myself will help you. The words are true, beloved. Yes, he will take care of us. He will lead us, guide us, help us. 
and be with us. As we read in Psalm 32 verse 8, I am his witness. I want you also to receive the blessings for it is free of cost. It has freely been received for we will know the truth and the truth will set us free. John 8 32. For he is the light of the world. John 8 12. He is the living waters. John 4 10. And also he is a shepherd beloved. As we read in Psalm 23 verse 1 it says the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. The words are true. Yes. And he makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. Yes, beloved. And also, many other afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him of them all. Psalm 34, verse 19. Whether it is the requirement of blessings in your business, whether it is prosperity, he will give you. For the word says, there is blessing for those who fear him, as we read in Psalm 112, verse 3. It says, there is riches and prosperity in the one who fears the Lord and who trusts in him. Yes. For the word says in Proverbs chapter 28, verse 25. Yes. The prosperity and the blessings are there for one who fears the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, beloved, thou shalt be blessed of all people. The words are true. And thou shalt be free of all diseases. The words are true. Deuteronomy 7, 14 and 15. For be healed in the name of Yahweh Rafeka. For the wounds and the stripes that he suffered for us, he heals us. Isaiah 53, verse 5 is true. And the same word as we read in Matthew chapter 8, verse 17. The word is speaking to you and to me, beloved. He took our infirmities and carried our diseases. Yes, yes, the words are true. He is present with us. And evil, the evil spirits and demons shudder in the name of Yeshua Masih. For every authority in heaven and earth belongs to him, as we read in Matthew chapter 28. Yes, beloved. And the Lord reigns. Remember that. As we read in Psalm 146.10, Psalm 96.10, and also the prophecy for the times of today is the Lord reigns. As we read in Isaiah chapter 24, verse 23. And not only that, he has blessed you and me. As the word says, for this year, for you and me, beloved. As we read in Jeremiah 29, verse 11, I know your thoughts, he says to you and to me. For the word says, I have plans, a future, hope, prosperity, welfare, and peace for you and me. Yes, he is there with us every second. My dear sister, my dear brother, do not think you are orphan. For the word says, he will not leave us orphans. As we read in John chapter 14, verse 18, he is there with you, next to you every second in your hard days in your good days in your bad days in every times he is there with you so trust the lord at all times psalm 62 verse 8 the words are speaking to you my dear sister my dear brother my dear youngster my dear youth my dear children yes whatever your requirements are there whether it is the lack of wisdom he will bless you with wisdom for he is the fountain of wisdom as we read in proverbs 9 10 as we read in james 1 verse 5 the word says if any of you lack wisdom let him ask god that give it to all men liberally and abradeth not the words are true whether it is the peace in your house which is not there he will give you for he is a prince of peace he is a emmanuel he is a ebenezer he is a yahweh ire God will provide. Genesis 22 verse 14. He said to Sarah, I am the Lord your God. Is there anything too hard for me? Though she had passed the childbearing age, as we read in Genesis 18 14, yes, he was there. Yes, he is there with you and me right now. And today, yes, we see Sarah was blessed. And today we are numerous like stars. Yes, and today we have Israel. Yes, we are Israel, beloved. Prince with God. Yes, beloved. Be encouraged, my dear sister, my dear brother. Yes, wipe away those tears. And do not quit in life. Do not commit suicide. Whether it is freedom from addiction, he will give you. He will give us wisdom. For the word says in James 1 verse 5, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God that give it to all men liberally and abhor it not. Whatever the requirements are there, yes, whatever the requirements are there, my dear brother, my dear sister, Ask the Lord Jesus Christ. He will bless you. Yes, not only that, he has given us the Holy Spirit, which is a guide. Yes, which will help us to discern the right and the wrong. And he is a helper. And we will also receive the gifts and the fruits of Holy Spirit as we ask. As we read in Galatians 5 verse 22, the fruits of Holy Spirit are there. Peace, love, joy, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, mercifulness, patience, and self-control. And also the gifts of the Holy Spirit as we ask. That is the gift of wisdom, the gift of knowledge, and faithfulness. The discerning the right and the wrong, discerning the spirits, and also we will have the power of Holy Spirit to prophecy, to interpret, to speak in tongues, to perform miracles, to heal in the name of Yahweh Rafeka. Yes, and also to also to interpret the tongues. 
and the gift of tongues. Yes, beloved. And all this will be given as Jesus Christ wills. As read in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 11. Yes, beloved. So be encouraged. Yes, Jesus Christ is there with you every second. You are not alone. Remember that, my dear sister. Be blessed as the blessings came to Ruth. As read in Ruth chapter 3, verse 11, it says, Daughter, yes, your prayers have been answered. Hallelujah. And all of the people know that you are a virtuous woman. Yes, Jesus Christ is blessing you, my dear sister. And nobody will be bearing the land, the blessings for you, my dear sister. You will conceive in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Receive the blessings. Yes, as we read in Exodus 23, 26. Yes, Jesus Christ is there with us. Yes, he's the maker of heaven and earth. Yes, go to him. And the word says, only believe. Read the Bible and pray. Let it go hand in hand. For the Bible is not a storybook, nor a novel, nor a book. It is the living word of God. It is the good news. Luke chapter 2. With tidings of joy. Yes, beloved. And also, when we read the Bible, God is speaking to us. And when we pray, we are speaking to God. And the word says in Isaiah 65, verse 24, To you and me, my dear sister, my dear brother, it says, As you are speaking, I will hear. And as you pray, I will answer. Hallelujah. Yes, he is a God who hears our prayers and answers us. As King Yahweh called on Lord. Yes, and he said, as we read in 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 10, that he prayed for enlarging of his territory. And also, he prayed that he should be free of pain. Yes, and for the blessings, yes, keep him out of pain and to bless him and to also keep him away from pain. And the prayers were answered as written over there, as read in 1 Chronicles 4.10. My dear sister, Jesus Christ will bless you. Yes, as we read in 2 Kings chapter 4, the lady with the oil, the olive oil, which her husband had died. If you are a widow, my dear sister, Jesus Christ is blessing you. He is there with you. He will take care of all your needs and my needs. For the word says, yes. The oil never got over. She received the blessing. Also, we will receive the blessings. The word says, ask and you shall receive. It will be given to everyone without any bias. It will be given to everyone. Yes, as we read in Matthew 7, verse 8. And the word is guiding us further. As we read in Mark 11, verse 24. It says, ask and you shall receive. But the important point there is believe that you have received it and you will receive it. The word says, only believe. Mark 5, verse 36. Yes, my dear sister, my dear brother, let us praise him and let us trust the Lord at all times. Psalm 62, verse 8. Come what may, let us trust him. Yes, for he is a guide even unto death. As we read in Psalm 48, verse 14. For all our springs come from thee. The words are true as we read in Psalm 87, verse 7. And the victory rests with the Lord. Proverbs 21, verse 31. So be motivated, cheer up and wipe away those tears. For you are not alone. Jesus Christ is there with you. The word says to us every day it is for us. 365 times in the Bible is written, fear thou not. As it says in Deuteronomy 31 verse 6, that do not fear. Do not be afraid. Do not be terrified. Do not be dismayed. For I will never leave you nor forsake you. The words are true, beloved. Yes, the words are true. In all these things we are more than conquerors. Remember that. Romans 8 verse 37. So be charged up. Be motivated. Be strong. Yes, for the, let the weak say I am strong as we read in Joel chapter 3 verse 10. For the words, for those of my brothers and sisters who say the years have gone in waste. No, the word is promising you and me from Joel 2, 19 to 27 that he will restore to us the years the locusts have eaten. Yes, and we shall never be put to shame. We shall never be put to shame. The word comes twice. When the word comes twice, it is being made Yes, for sure that Jesus Christ is blessing you, my dear sister. So read the Bible. There are 40,000 blessings, promises in the Bible. Receive it. Jesus Christ will speak to you through the verses in the Bible. That is how. He will speak to you. Write it down in your personal diary. And you will be happy that the words have been made complete. For he is a God of living, not the dead. As we read in Luke chapter 20, verse 38. I am his witness. I want you also to receive the blessings and the peace and the joy, for he is the Prince of Peace. He is a Yahweh Ire. Genesis 22 verse 14. He is a Emmanuel, God with us. He uh, is our Ebenezer. He is a Yahweh Shama. As we read, God is over there. As we read in Ezekiel chapter 48 verse 35. Yes, he went in the dungeon with Yosef. Yes, maybe at hard times people may leave you, but Jesus Christ will never leave you, beloved. Yes, remember that. He is there with you every second, every moment. 
and he will never leave us nor forsake us the words are true yes so be encouraged be charged up he is there with us till the end as every authority in heaven earth belongs to him as we read in matthew 28 even the evil spirits and demons shudder in the name of Yeshua Messiah, and he is our salvation as we read the mighty word from Revelation 7 verse 10. He is knocking at the door of your heart and my heart and your house and my house. Let us receive him and let us make him the chief guest of our house and our heart. For he will sup with us. Revelation 3.20 And he is the omnipotent God who reigns. The words are true as we read in Revelation 19 verse 6. Yes, beloved. Yes. Yes, the words are true. The word is life. The word is spirit as we read in John 6 verse 63. The word is proven. The word is flawless. The word is truth as we read. And it is living in Revelation chapter 19. Yes, so be filled with joy. For the joy of the Lord is my strength. Nehemiah 8 10. Yes, and also you will be find, finding yourself in a different state. Yes, that is blessed and happy and joyous. Your family will be blessed. All the misunderstandings in the family will go away when Jesus Christ is there with us. For Zephaniah 3.20 says, He will intervene for us. Yes, the words are true. The same word in Zephaniah chapter 2 and 3. Yes, He will intervene for us. And all our captives will return back to us. Hallelujah. The words are true, beloved. You can write it down and you will be happy that the word has come true for he is faithful to his promise. I read in Exodus 12.25, Hebrews 10.23 and all the promises that were made and that are being made to you right now will be done by Lord Jesus Christ. As the word says, nothing has failed as we read in Joshua 21 verse 45. For he is the same yesterday, today and forever, beloved. Hebrews 8 verse 13. Yes, and also heavens and earth shall pass away but his words will not pass away the words are true beloved as we read in matthew 24 35 as we read in isaiah 40 verse 8 it says the grass withers the flower fades but word of god yes lives forever it stays forever yes beloved for he will renew your strength like the eagles yes the words are coming as a blessing to you and me as we read in isaiah 40 verse 31 and he will carry us even in a gray hair and old age the words are true as we read the mighty word is speaking to you and to me, beloved, from Isaiah 46 verse 4, from, from the beginning he knows the end, Isaiah 46 10. And the word says, yes, he will prosper you. For the word says to you and to me, I form light and create darkness. I make well-being and create calamity. I am the Lord who does all these things, Isaiah 45 verse 7. He will give us blessings, prosperity, hallelujah. Yes, beloved, for he is the mighty God. Yes, hallelujah. The blessings for you and me, beloved, for this year is from Jeremiah 29, verse 11, as it says that he knows our plans and he knows our thoughts, his plans of future hope, prosperity, welfare, and also of prosperity, and also of peace for you and me, as read in Jeremiah 29, verse 11. So be blessed today and every day, yes, and arise and shine, as we read, as we are seeing that. The blessings are there for this year. May Jesus Christ bless each one of us. And also do like and subscribe the channel. Arise and shine. Yes, this is Dr. Mrs. Alfred James Rathod speaking. May Jesus Christ bless each one of us. Yes, as we see how strange the words as the cutting, cutting, cutting is there in our life. Yes, and it is very, very depressing and very much demotivating. But then I heard the ring of the gardener's axe as he cut away at the lilac bushes. They were very close to the window and kept out of the sunlight and the air. We are trying to picturize the beautiful, the picture of the gardener. Yes, but the cutting will also help us in the further blessings that is to give beautiful flowers in our life. May Jesus Christ bless each one of us. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah.